I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I, I had appointments the past two days. I'm sorry. I'm just not uh, getting back to y'all. Uh, that's one thing. One thing. Uh, past two days, I don't had appointments and stuff. And the Black Widow review is still coming. I just. <clears throat> I, I was I, I talked it, it became a longer video than what I expected to be. I didn't expect it to be that long. So uh, bear with me with that. But um, I want to talk about Loki. Loki season finale. I know it's a couple of days late. I had recorded a video yesterday, and then it got messed up, so I couldn't release it. So I'm gonna try to re-record it right now. Try to redo it. But uh, that Loki season finale, and I, it's more of a uh, season review, like over uh, overall review, like uh, not just a uh, season finale episode, but overall review, which is uh, it was good. I called it my boy, my boy Kane, boy Kang in the MCU finally. Jonathan Majors did an amazing job. Well, not really Kane. What, what, what they named him at the end? He Who Remains. Which he's technically a Mortis. In the comments, Kang's good version was a Mortis. And that's what uh, they that's what they played off of. And they gave him a lot of names. But you saw how he kept talking about conquer, conquering and his other variants and stuff. Which... First off, his performance was amazing. Jesus, it was amazing. Like, I was so captivated the entire time. And I'm going to just say it straight. Like, I thought it was going to be another Loki. Like, I was starting to get my hopes up. I know I, I know I was hyped for Kang all through, all through, you know, the podcast and stuff. But... You know, as they kept going, I don't know, I just felt like they was playing, but uh, especially with the last two episodes leading up to the finale, like, those those last two episodes could have could have went away, like, it was just, I don't know, it's just, I know what they was doing, but they could have cut the last two episodes, they could have cut five, and, what was it, four and five into one episode, especially the episode when it was nothing but them stuck on uh, Lamentis, but... I get to, I get to that in a minute, uh, but Kang like his performance for Kang, and I love that they made him kind of witty. You know, he's an ad like I know Kang is gonna be an asshole. He gotta be an asshole. Like he gotta be like like he gotta pull. He gotta be the conqueror, but he has to be he has to be a a hole like a big giant just. He got to be awful, like his his portrayal of the evil version of him. But how he was portrayed, like we get how he was portrayed in the last episode with through it, like how he did in Mortis, but with you know some flair to him, like sinister, like you know, like an evil, you know, it's like you know what I'm saying, like that evil undertone, and like every time he says or do something, you know, it's just just some awfuls behind it and we saw it like as soon as soon as sylvie stabbed him which by the way we knew we knew she was gonna like you know it was her it was her, it was her whole her entire life she's been chasing after this man and finally caught up to him and then you know the as guardians live for air like thousands and thousands of years so ain't no telling how long she's actually been chasing after a more and more of a mortis so the fact that she finally called to him like i just know that rage took over and she killed him and then just the fact that we started seeing like did you guys notice like it was like the perfect spiral and then as soon as she killed him like the perfect spiral, like, it started going down first, like, uh, like, the branch went down first, I think it was, like, you know, like, going into madness, and then, 
all the branches like started splitting off and then all the split off split offs had split off it's literally like if you look at your arm and you're like red like your veins and stuff how like they all like you got your big veins and then your small veins and it's like just veins you can't see just but it was crazy how they did like the first off marvel's like vfx and how they like do their shows and their movies and like the visual like the visuals of their stuff is beautiful and and the, how they did it was so it was so dope and it was crazy just watching it like every time they like every time they were saying something it was just splitting off everything just splitting off everything just going haywire and it was like for what she killed him for what and then the fact that he said like if you don't take over like I'm gonna be there and then that's the other thing that's what I love about Kang and his like just Kang in general like when he said that um I'm gonna end up exactly where we at again like that's what Kang do and when one of them dies that's another one takes his place and it just flip flops is it gonna be Immortus is it gonna be Kang is it gonna be you know Rama Tut you know what I'm saying you, you can't tell but it's it's dope how they I don't know I'm just so excited just seeing him and being a cosmic Marvel fan and like you know like reading about him like you know I'm an Iron Man fan so just seeing him and like how he became Iron Lad just those stories and then so getting that just eventually getting that first off that's it's ah, my dude is here like oh and, 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 the, and the fact that the TVA is a black owned business that's what I'm talking about we just out here. We got Wakanda. We out here with TVA. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to be black right now. You know what I'm saying? It's always been beautiful to be black, but the representation and the fact that... Oh, and, and another thing. Okay, so let me get to the point. Let me stop rambling. Let me get to the point, so I get home. And I don't want to make this video too long. All right, so people are saying that when Loki got pushed through the portal, that he went to another dimension... I don't think he went to a parallel universe, which I could be wrong, but that when they when they killed Immortus or He Who Remains, and he went through and then he seen the one statue of Cain, that goes to show how fast Cain works. Like when he said that, like if you don't take over another variant wheel, like he meant every word of that, and the fact that. To me, that's what I got from that. That rip that at the end of that, that's how fast he works. Like he, he didn't even get time to grieve and he was Kang had already took over. And the fact that like, you know, we're gonna that's the only like Disney Plus show right now that's getting a season two. Like it, it's going it's gonna be crazy and it's leading straight. He literally said it like he's going straight to, you know, the multiverse of madness. And they were going like, what did he say? Like, uh, it's gonna be a multiverse of badness, and it's gonna be like No Way Home or something. Like, he just hinted at all the upcoming movies, and we're gonna see that with Spider Man. And then through Sylvie, she just not only Sylvie retconned the entire MCU, she made it the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse. So everything now is canon because of all the split offs. Like we like. We had that perfect singular timeline flowing perfectly with no branches and, and everything getting fixed. And when she killed him, like everything went crazy. And now all the all the Fox Marvel movies and Wolverine and Deadpool and all this stuff, like all of this canon, technically. Like if you want to get to the nitty gritty, that's how the multiverse works. All of this canon, and it's all because of Sylvie. And I love that that Loki saw how quick and how powerful Kang is, and he's just a normal, regular human being. It's just his technology is just crazy. Like that's what's so crazy about technology. Like all my all my tech heads and all my like geeks and stuff that love tech and like just the newest thing. Like to look at how fast the blink of an eye. Loki saw his entire life change. It's just crazy. I hope I hope Doctor Strange can save him. 
and bring him bring him back to our reality. But uh, still be fucked up, which we seen that coming. Now, let me wrap wrap it all up. The overall Loki series started off strong, started off amazing. I loved it every second of it. It was episode four and five, and half of three they could have did away with. It. They could have made four or five into one. I don't know. Like, I love Kid Loki. I spazzed when all, I seen all the Lokis. I wish that we got to do a podcast. Oh, Soul sends his regards. We're going to try to shoot. Hopefully, we can shoot this weekend. If not, it's definitely going to be next weekend. But this is Darda's birthday, and they, they out in Cali and stuff. Like, it's a, you know, yeah. But it's we, we, we he hasn't abandoned us, and the podcast is still on. But... Oh, uh, if not this video, the next video, the Facebook group should be on, should be up and running. So everybody, so like we can all have like a home to like communicate in without like everybody messaging me on different apps and stuff. And we can all like go through Facebook in the, in the group and um, I'm working on the Discord too. But the group is going to be up first. But um. But overall, Loki series, um, they could have did away with, like, episode four and five. I feel like it. I feel like it fell flat. Uh, I feel like it's just a lot of things they put they put in there that was, like, unnecessary. Just, just different stuff that was just, like, okay, I guess. Like, I see it. Or it was just long, drawn-out stuff that just didn't need to be there. Which is, which, you know, I just feel like they could have took it out. Um, but the last episode, even though, and even, like, and even if it wasn't much action, like, the last episode proves that they don't have, they don't need a, they don't need a, no action to make a great episode. Like, they could have gave us stuff like the last episode and, you know, die, and give it, gave it to us so we can digest it, you know. And it still be amazing. Just give us the person. Stop teasing us. Like, I feel like they teased us for too long. You know, it was like, six episodes or a month and a half. Like they could have did away with two, two episodes for sure. The third episode, you know, two of them for sure they could have did away with and made them, made both of them into one. But um, it, it was starting to fall flat for me because of those two. But it ended hella strong it ended how it was supposed to it ended on a, a a note that i way bigger than what i expected like i i knew kang was coming i knew kang was there some way in some form of fashion because of um ravona renslayer's character like ravona renslayer being there but just to see like the, now we're seeing the tv shows and the movies this is what the Disney Netflix show should have been, which I know is not Kevin Feige and his father's Netflix fault, more or less, but this is what they should have been. But now that they got, now that we're seeing all this play out, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, like, oh, I need Dr. Doom next. Like, we got Kane, I need Dr. Doom. We got a big space threat, like a big multiversal threat. I want to know. I want them to utilize him too. I don't want. I hope they don't nerf him to. I hope they don't nerf him to hell and back. But they need to. They need to utilize every ounce of Kang, and they need to make it to where like Kang is always there. I don't know. That's just how. I, that's how I would use him. But I know these actors can only last like six, seven years. But we gotta get Iron Lad now. We gotta have Iron Lad. We got Iron Heart, which I'm more of an Iron Lad fan. I like Iron Heart too, and I know she's gonna be important and stuff, especially since Tony's dead. They can really build up off those um, that story, really. But I need Iron Lad. Um, I feel like that was a good way to. I love how they did Loki's character from start to finish, and like they gave him, you know, the, the Loki we had, you know, through the uh, through the regular MCU saga, 
like his growth was amazing and now seeing his this new growth in the short span was really dope we it's like we, we got him humbled again but in a whole nother heroic way like he really wants to be a hero it just sucks that you know he went to tell you know went to go talk to mobius and them and, and it's not and mobius don't know him no more like i hope i hope that it's the mobius that i hope that my theory is correct and mo he like it's like kang took over erased him from the timeline and the tva doesn't know him mobius doesn't know him because they're all a brand new this is a brand new tva because kang took over that fast like as soon as he sensed immortus was gone and all the branches took over boom kang was there and so i feel like that'll be a way more epic way to tell his story than sylvie pushed him to another alternate timeline which it is an alternate timeline but i don't want it to be like our tva is still there and then this TVA is just a new TVA. I don't know. I, I don't like that. I don't like that idea. I want I want it to be one TVA that runs throughout the multiverse. Like uh like how it's like you know like it, like it's different entities in Marvel and each one of them like when you get into the multiversal entities and the multiversal like uh groups and like uh collectives of the universe of the marvel universe it's only one of them that sits for the entire multiverse and then when you get inside each universe and pocket universe then there's different like versions of heroes and and villains and stuff like that but when you're when you're in the grander scale there's only one of them so i hope and pray that there's only one tba sitting outside the realm of town watching all this because they watch all the spirals and they had he like immortus had the perfect sacred timeline and sylvie fucked it up so it wouldn't make sense for the tva that's there to be different tvas now you see what i'm saying like i don't like that idea i hope they don't do that um that's my thoughts that's uh we need Blue Marvel now. We need we need we need uh, Gladiator. We need Sentry. We need Nova. We've been needing Nova. Nova got his whole origin story in fucking Infinity War, and he's still nowhere to be found. So the Cosmic MCU is fixing to turn up. The 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 Marvel Cinematic Multiverse is just is at its birth, and everybody can come back. Anybody can show up now. Oh man, they, they have to. They have to now. It's so it's, it's too exciting now. Like No Way Home has to have all the all the Spider Mans in it now. They have to now. Like Loki, Loki set it up perfectly till all this shit can happen. And everybody's saying they don't want Kang to linger for too long. No, I want Kang to be there the whole time. I want Kang to be like this super threat. Kang is so powerful that cosmic beings have to step in so like the Eternals movie like them coming in now would make sense because of Kang if they tell the story right which I don't believe they will I believe it's going to be more grounded but they have to like talk about like Kang somehow like Kang has to be this super threat along with you know a earth villain like they gotta have a big earth villain an overarching multiversal villain and then like an overarching space villain i know that's asking for too much but i feel like they can do it i feel like they got they got so many actors and directors and stuff now they can they can have a earth the earth story with like you know cap new cap and everybody doing their their like earth stuff multiversal threat multiversal shit leading to secret wars Kane doing all that fucking it up and then like you know thor and like you know captain marvel and all the space heroes like the you know the grand the grandiose space adventures have a big space threat and then it all coincide and loop back together at the end for like avengers seven and eight yeah they got to do it. All right. 
this video getting too long i'll talk to you guys later black widow this weekend this hopefully when y'all see this video yeah when y'all see this video black widow is coming and then uh the facebook up the facebook group should be up when black widow drops and it's your boy Ryu Kage, Luna Neos. I'm your host. I said it backwards, but it's whatever. Holla at y'all later.